glory of the immortal God. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things. Romans 1, 22 and 23. It would be a great folly and a great tragedy if a man loved his wedding ring more than he loved his bride. But that is what this passage says has happened. Human beings have fallen in love with the echo of God's excellence in creation and lost the ability to hear the incomparable original shout of love and power and glory. The message of creation is this. There is a great God of glory and power and generosity behind all this awesome universe. You belong to him because he made you. He is patient with you in sustaining your rebellious life. Turn and trust him and delight yourself in him, not merely his handiwork. According to Psalm 19, 1 and 2, Day pours forth the speech of that message to all who will listen in the day, speaking with blindingly bright sun and blue sky and clouds and untold shapes and colours and beautiful designs of all things visible. Night pours forth the knowledge of the same message to all who will listen at night, speaking with great dark voids and summer moons and countless stars and strange sounds and cool breezes and northern lights. Day and night are saying one thing, God is glorious. Turn away from the creation as your supreme satisfaction and delight yourself in the glory of the immortal God.